In this video, we will see an interesting case. We are seeing two distended veins over the sternum mastoid muscle. Normally, we will see a single vein over the sternum mastoid muscle that is external jugular vein. So, in this case, we are to, uh, seeing two distended neck veins. Let us know this anatomical variation in this patient. What are these two veins? One is external jugular vein. Let us study the surface marking of external jugular vein. The first point is angle of the mandible. Second point is midpoint of the clavicle. Let us study the formation of external jugular vein. Superficial temporal vein and maxillary vein join together forms the retromandibular vein. Retromandibular vein has anterior division and posterior division. The posterior division joins with the posterior auricular vein so that forms external jugular vein. Extra jugular vein has a four tributaries. First one is posterior external jugular vein. Then transverse cervical vein. And suprascapular vein. And anterior jugular vein. So the mnemonic is past. Facial vein and anterior division of the retromandibular vein forms the common facial vein which drains into the internal jugular vein. So what is the another vein? So let us study about the common facial vein. Normally common facial vein opens into the internal jugular vein. Rarely that is in around 8% of the individuals common facial vein can go superficial to the sternum mustard and open into the external jugular vein. So in this case, so we are seeing an anatomical variation of common facial vein. Instead of draining into the internal jugular vein, it is going superficial to the sternum mustard and draining into the external jugular vein. So it is a rare anatomical variation.